Okay, we're doing a job today. We're calling sneaking out grandma's junk out of the flooded basement. We're gonna go as fast as we can. It's a basement full of flooded debris down there. Yeah, use the uh, bungee cords to tie up there. The title of today's video is cleaning out grandma's junk or sneaking out grandma's <laughs> junk. It's so dark we can't really see. Shine the light over here a minute. All right, well. You want to shine the light on the video? So back here, so I'll I can get, just so I can get the videos. And then back there. Right there. Yeah, a lot of junk here today. We're going to be handling it one one area at a time. Quite a clutter catastrophe. Okay, we're starting out south side, <clears throat> sneaking out the junk from the basement while they occupy grandma upstairs. Uh, there was a flood in the basement. Everything just got trashed with mold and water. It's been sitting there for a long time. And uh, we're going to take care of it, get the place empty. Today we're doing a flooded basement clean out on the south side. While they occupy their grandmother upstairs, we're sneaking it out the basement door. Quite a mess, it's all been flooded for a long time. I don't know if debris been here a while. A little update today on the south side, a flooded basement clean out. A sneaky clean out, I should say. Grandma's upstairs and doesn't know we're cleaning in our basement. So now I'm going to have the guys fill up about 40 or 50, 50 trash bags. Pile everything up, up high. We had to lift this thing all the way over the fence. Yeah, just throw it right in. Good work, guys. That's great effort. We had to go over the top of that fence to get it up through the narrow gate there. Everything's narrow. Nothing's ever easy for us. That's why that sawzall comes in handy. Drop it down. Just sit on there a minute. And a lot of big stuff just came out. Cleaning out a flooded basement. It's been flooded there and sitting, sitting down there for years. Today it's coming out. I'm sure it'll help the air situation in the house. A lot of mold in this materials. More furniture coming out. They got to lift it all the way up. Oh, they got it through. Great moving technique. These are, these doors are so narrow. These these pathways in the basement. The gate is real narrow here. Let's get some more so we're updating again on the south side. We're packing up this area with bags. Get the most use out of the space. That was a flooded basement. Many years of flooded debris. Finally coming out today. Along with a lot of mold. The only way to max out the use of our truck is uh, throwing the bags up high. That gets the most materials into the truck. It's all putting together a puzzle. Every time. Tetris. And we have such an outstanding crew that we can get these loads in just a couple hours. Very difficult jobs. So we're updating today's clean out. I call it sneaking grandma's junk out the back door. Because uh, they had to tie a grandma up, keep her occupied upstairs while we were down in the basement today. We had to sneak it out. Sneaky junk removal. It was a flooded basement, many years of junk. We're wrapping up our load today. Paul, you come out. You come right there. 
you come out and let it leave. And so now we're topping it off with this halfway door today. This was a uh, sneaking grandma's basement cleanup. Sneaky junk removal. Still got them up here for some bad. So a couple hours later, we cleared a lot of this clutter out of this basement. There's many years of debris down here. This whole area cleared out and made a lot of progress. There was a lot of small debris. Still a little bit of flat clutter left, but we got, we're going to have to come back for another load, but we didn't make a big difference. I like to show that we make a real good effort on getting the most inside of the truck. We take junk and move it serious. Two more bags? Two or three more bags. I think a bit too, too would work.